Translation. When Vidura was invited by his elder brother, Dhritarashtra, for consultation, he entered the house and gave instructions which were exactly to the point. His advice is well known, and instructions by Vidura are approved by expert ministers of state. So, Vidura was a great devotee, a great politician also. Not that a devotee should not take parts in politics. They knew everything, but they did not take part. Just like Vidura and his elder brother, Dhritarashtra. He was politician, Dhritarashtra. His whole life was diplomacy and politics. But he still, in difficult position, he used to consult Vidura. Uh, why a politician should consult a devotee? Now, if I want to do something, I must take advice, the best advice from the best man. That is the principle. So Vidira was so expert advisor, counselor, that there was a statement, Vaidurika. That's like the Chanakya Shlok. For ordinary things, Chanakya Shlok is evidence. Chanakya Pandit say, I think you can introduce Chanakya Shlok among the students. Chanak Pandi said that Vidya Tamcha Nipatamcha Naivati Lankadas. A man who is learned, a man who is very rich. So, how they should be compared? So the Chanak Pandi says there is no comparison. Comparison must be there when there is points of similarity. It's like we say, your face is just like more. So if the face is actually similar to the more, then we can say, points of similarity. Analogy means there must be points of similarity. The largest number of similarity makes the analogy perfect. This is logical. Rules. So Stanaka Pandit says that to a rich man and a learned man, there is no comparison. There are different categories. Why? Sadeshi Pujyati Raja Vidyan Sarvatra Pujyati. A rich man, a king, Maybe very respectable in his own country, around his own man. But a vidya, a learned scholar, he is respected all over the world. The woman is unknown. So if one is respected all over the world, and if one is respected in his own village, so how there can be any comparison? These are the Chanakya Pandit's instruction, very valuable. There are many. And then another, Matrivat Paradarishu, Paradarbeshu, Loshava, Atvat Sadhuteshu, Japasati Chapalita. Who is a land and scholar? Now, Somebody will say, one who has passed the MAPAG degrees in university, he is not a scholar. Chanaka Pandi says, no, that is not the criteria. Simply to hold degrees 
of university examination. That is not to test of his becoming a learner's scholar. That is not. Then what is the test of his becoming a learner's scholar? There are three things. Matrivat Paradarishu. Except one's married wife, if one sees all other women like mother, he is learner's scholar. Matrivat Paradarishu. Paradarishu is Lostava. And others' property is just like garbage in the street. And Atava Sarvabhuteshu Yapasvati Shapalyata. If one has acquired by education, that must be some effect. So these are the tests how one has advanced in education. He must treat all women except his mother, except his wife, his mama. In India still, women, especially in ashramas, any woman, visitor, he sees addressed as mala by all the she may be young girl, but she is addressed as mother. This is the etiquette. Mother, what can I help you? This is the relations. The Brahmachari goes to householders, place, for begging alms. The sister cannot be introduced here. It is very difficult. Otherwise, another business of these children where to go, don't to go and knock and ask some alms, give us some alms. So in India, they have got sufficient stock of rice, flour, dal. They keep at least one month provision in every house, even if it is poor man. As soon as he gets his money, he purchases the whole month provision. Rice, dal, atta, ghee, and keeps it. So, when the Brahmachari goes there, a little rice or a little dal, they continue. In this way, by collection of these arms from the neighboring householders, practically the ashrams, a eating problem is solved. Brahmachari is supposed to live in Gurukul at the place of Guru, just like a menial servant. In Krishna, he also lived as a menial servant. His teacher asked him to bring some fuel from the jungle, and he went. Vishuddhama Vipra, and while collecting this dry wood, there was a storm and there was heavy rain, and they became lost in the jungle, Krishna and Sudam. Then his teacher, Sandipuni Muni, with our assistance of other boys, they were rescued. So, this is the position of the Brahmachari that they go to collect arms, all kinds of, for Guru Kul. So Vidura, Krishna consciousness includes varieties of activities. The, the press representative, they ask me whether your students uh, do take part in politics, it is sanctioned. Why not? Our Bhagavad Gita is produced in battlefield. In battlefield. So why should I deny battle? No. When there is a need for fighting, there must be fighting. This world is like that. 
Otherwise there is no need of piety. But there is a class of man who will fight. Still it is existing. When there is fight, those who are meant for military purposes, they fight. Not the civilian go and fight. No. Similarly, in the society, there must be division. Not that everyone should be called. Come on, we go out to fight. Now, why is this training? That was not the system. First of all, Chatur Bandhang Maya system, these children, according to strict Vedic principle, by practical psychology, this will be tested. What is the tendency of this bomb? There can be four kinds of tendencies. Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudya. Some child is to become a Brahmana, some child is to become a Kshatriya, some child is to become a Vaishya, and the rest Shudra, they do not. Shudra does not require any training. Shudra means no training, ordinary water class. Otherwise, other three, especially two, namely the Brahmanas and Kshatriya, they require very magnificent training because they will administer the whole affairs of the society. So Brahmanas, they would give advice to the Kshatriyas, and Kshatriyas, according to their advice, oh, rule over the Syrians. This was the system. Chatur Varna Maya system, Guru Varma Vivara. Vivar by division of quality and worth. The Brahman must be qualified and at the same time work as a Brahman. So we are training especially our students to become qualified Brahman. We cannot take up all other departments. Similarly, uh, others may take up the line of training, military men, others may take up. There are training classes, many mercantile farm, you can get your lesson. So there are organized method to train this mercantile man, administrator, and Brahman. So Vidura, although he was born of Shudra Mahara, his mother was Shudra, made silent. Formerly, when a prince was married, along with the princess, a few dozens of Made servant would go with the king. So, to become king, or as it is to be understood, he has to maintain more than one wife. That is king. Even in Mohammedan kingdom, Nava Vazid Ali Shah, after the Mughal period, the Lucknow, he would go. So he had 164 wives, Begum. And all of them had children. And when Britishers occupied, the Britishers had to give them pension according to this year. So amongst the Mohammedans also, polygamy was allowed. Hindus, especially the higher class, Brahman and Chatriya, polygamy is allowed. Now they have made laws, but that is quite natural. If every woman has to be married, then polygamy must be there. Otherwise, how every woman is going to get a husband? Because male population is always shorter 
then the female will properly. So Vidura was born of a maid servant. The father was the king. The father was the son. Maharaj Yudhishthira, Dhritarashtra. And the father of Vidura the same. And the mother different. So, Vidura, because he was not born of the queen, he had no share in the throne. But Dhritarashtra loved him very much. Although stepmother's son, he would like him very much because he was very intelligent. So in every uh, occasion he would consult with him. And his consultation was so valuable that later on it became Bhoidirikam. A consultation as expert as given by Vidura. So he was invited. Diplomacy, politics were going on. How to cheat the Pandavas? That was his politics, Dhritarashtra. Dhritarashtra was born blind, although he was the eldest son of his father, but he was born blind. So he could not occupy the throne. His next brother, younger brother, Pandu, the father of the Pandavas, he occupied. He became king. Now, this Pandu died at an early age, and the sons of Pandu, they were minor children. So Dhritarashtra took charge for their maintenance and his other sons. But his policy was that I could not be uh, elevated on the throne because I was blind. But actually the kingdom belongs to me. So anyway, my brother occupied the throne. Now he is dead and gone. So why his son should be king? My son. This was the politics. So he was trying how to kill the Pandavas from the very beginning. And Vidura was restricting, restraining him. So this is the subject matter. He called Vidura, what is the Vidura? Vidura, he disclosed everything to Vidura. Vidura said, no. You cannot do that. That will be discussed. 